Venice, also known as the City of Canals, the Floating City, and Serenissima, is arguably one of Italy's most picturesque cities. Along with its worldwide popularity, Venice is also known as one of the most expensive cities in Italy, especially in the on season. I know some people don't mind spending money like water in Venice, because it might be their only chance. But for budget travelers like me, who still want to experience the city's artistic beauty and architecture, I'm gonna tell you how to travel in Venice on a budget. I hope this video will help you plan your trip to Venice. Okay, let's get started. Accommodation is one of the things we spend the most money on. If you have seen any picture of Venice, you should know that Venice is an island city. The Central Storico, or Historic Center, is a tightly integrated cluster of 118 small islands that are linked by more than 400 foot bridges. The Central Storico is the main tourist area, but all of the accommodations there are quite expensive. Even the hostels, which are usually budget travelers, go to places to stay. So what I want to suggest is looking for an accommodation in the mainland suburb of Mestre. Although it's not at the very center of Venice, it's connected to the Central Storico by a long causeway and there is a direct bus which only takes about 15 minutes. The accommodations in Mestre are much cheaper than the ones in Central Storico, and when I booked a hostel there, it was about half the price. These hostels are very clean and modern, just like hotels, but if you want to stay in a private room, Mestre also has a great variety of hotels, B&Bs and Airbnbs at a reasonable price. Besides, in the Central Storico, cars aren't able to pass through after a big square called Piazza Venezia that serves as the portal for the main area, so you will need to carry your luggage from there to your hotel through crowds of people. Meanwhile, the mainland doesn't have such restrictions. Of course, in Mestre, you can't wake up to a magnificent view of Venice outside your window in the morning, but if you don't want to spend so much money on the accommodation, you may want to consider this option. As I said earlier, wheels of any kind are not allowed in the central historical of Venice because the city is built with many stairs bridges over the canals. This even includes motorcycles and bikes. Instead of using those vehicles, in the central historical, there are some water buses called Vaporetto. Vaporetto have routes that can take you around the Grand Canal and some of the other main canals. It's still possible to move around only on foot, since the central historical is not too big. But the view of this magical city from the boat is amazing, so I recommend taking a ride on this unique bus if you come to Venice. A one-way ticket for the Vaporetto is 7 euro 50. It's a little more expensive than normal buses, but if you buy a 24 hour ticket instead, it costs only 20 euro and you have 24 hour unlimited access to the Vaporetto, as well as the bus and the tram in the mainland, which is very useful if you stay outside in an area such as Mestre. The Vaporettos also connect the city with the other major islands, which I highly recommend visiting. They have 40 hour and 72 hour passes as well, so you should consider these ticket options depending on your trip plans. And of course, there are the gondolas in Venice too. The gondolas are a very characteristic feature of the Venetian atmosphere. Their prices range from 80 to 120 euros, so they are quite expensive, but they are extremely popular among tourists. If you are interested in experiencing a Venetian gondola ride but are a bit worried about the price, one way you could save money is by carpooling. The gondolas can carry up to 6 people and the prices are split among the passengers, so it's perfect if you travel with other people. Even if you're a solo traveler, maybe you can look for another tourist nearby and invite them to share the ride. You can save money and could make a new friend as well. One of the pleasures of travel is eating delicious food, especially in Italy. If you really want to save money, you can stay at a place with a kitchen and cook for yourself. But I assure most people want to enjoy the local food at a restaurant, so I suggest some ways to find cheap restaurants in Venice. As you can probably imagine, restaurants in the Central Storico are more expensive than your average restaurant in Italy. So if you stay mystery, it would be a good option to find a restaurant in that area. 
I tried some restaurants in Mestre and I feel like their prices are quite similar to normal restaurants in Italy. If you want to eat in the central storico, it's a little more difficult to find affordable restaurants than in Mestre. Piazza San Marco is known as the most beautiful square in the world, but coupled with its fame, it's also the most expensive place in Venice, so you should avoid eating there if you are on a tight budget. If you are okay with fast food, maybe you can eat somewhere like McDonald's, KFC, and Burger King, but there is only one of each in the area and they are usually all crowded. So what I did to find an affordable restaurant in the city was open Google Maps, search for restaurants, and filter them by price. The number of euro symbols below the name of the restaurant shows its price range, so you can find affordable restaurants easily. But don't forget to check the reviews of the restaurant too. After searching, I found and went to this restaurant, Trattoria alla Lanze. They have a course meal with a meat dish for 12 euros and with fish for 15 euros, which is a very good deal in Venice. Check the mic and make sure it sound right, boys. The price of flights and accommodation are very different depending on the season. If you don't want to pay too much money for them and travel packs like sardines in Venice, it might be a good option to visit the city in the off season. A ton of people come to Venice from all over the world in spring and the summer. But as it gets colder, there are less people and the flights and the hotels get much cheaper. We visited Venice city last November. Because of the season of the pandemic, there are not too many people and we could enjoy and relax in the calmness of the city. Actually, there are other advantages of traveling in Venice in the winter. In the summer, mosquitoes and the foul smell of the canals annoy a lot of visitors, but you don't have to worry about these things in the winter. Also, if you're lucky, you could see aqua alta, meaning high water. This is a name for the exceptionally high tide peaks. The phenomenon usually happens in the winter time. The water partially floods the city, but you can see another mystical face of Venice. I just want to let you know that the city is not always affordable in the winter. They hold one of the world's most famous carnivals around February for two weeks every year. During this carnival, it's the busiest season in Venice, so it's hard to travel cheaply. But I heard the carnival is a blast and worth joining. I haven't been to the carnival yet, but it's definitely on my bucket list. These are the tips to travel in Venice on a budget. It depends on different people and what they want to enjoy and spend money on while traveling. But I'll be happy if you could find some useful information that you could apply to your future trip. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more content like this, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching. Bye.